Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Secret Squirrel Journal. I have been busy for the last little while making these pretty little things to go into that journal so that the, the pages that can be written on don't look quite so boring. And we all know what collage is. This is a piece of um, brown paper bag, a little piece of book paper, a different piece of book paper, and I've thrown some stickers onto this just because I have got a lot of stickers. So let's look at those before we go sticking them into the book. I'll turn it up that way, it's going to be easier than me flipping it around. I also thought, you know, they're just a little bit bland in places, so I thought I'd put some of those into them or onto them. So let's do that instead of me sitting here for five minutes doing nothing. Now I have put my timer on for 20 minutes because I have realised that my camera will only let me go for 29 minutes. So if I get to 20 minutes and my timer goes off, it means that I've got still got a few minutes to say goodbye to you instead of very rudely being cut off midstream of doing something. Okay, we'll put this one up there in that little blank spot. It just gives it something extra to go onto that little piece of collage, doesn't it? I've chosen not to stain the edges of these. I'm just going to leave them plain. Every now and then I like plain. And I'm just in that mode at the moment. I don't want to do staining today. I can't be bothered. got to be honest with you. Now I'm having trouble getting the tape off. Better be right. There we go. Not having trouble, just <laughs> the troubled mind maybe. Let's put this one up this way. Just for something different. Yeah, I'm going to put one on every one of them, I think, because I have got stacks here. I've got more over the other side of my table, so I've got plenty. So you see, I'm not really wasting much at all. Cut out borders, use the borders, and yes, use the, the leftovers from the borders. I think I'll stick that one that way. Hello, we have a hitchhiker down here. We don't need you in there, buddy. Okay. I actually I might put two on that one, because that looks rather pretty. I'll put it down this way, I think. to the paper so it doesn't camouflage too much of the the shape of the heart because that needs to be seen oh that's lovely what do you think do you like I do okay we've got the pink of the word love the pink of these border bits so I think one down here And I'm not being terribly careful with the the straightness of them as long as they are still maintaining the integrity of the cutout. I'm happy with that. Okay, and this one. Where can we stick this one? here, I think, over the other side. Yep. And if I have too many of these for this journal, I can always put it in my other journal. The beauty of collage bits, you can put them into whatever journals you want, as long as you don't theme them. Once you put a theme on them, then you really hampered for choice, aren't you? I've got to do some fussy cutting. I'm going to put two on the every one of these, I think, because I have got plenty. And just to prove the point, I'll bring a couple more over to show you. These stacks! Sit 
when she's having fun trying to get the backing tape off. And then it doesn't matter how many you've got as long as you can use them. Okay, and I think I might turn this one up the other way. This is my tweezer, I think, because I'm getting stuck on these little bits and I don't want to get stuck. Okay, two to go. And then I can have a little tidy up of my backing bits. I don't know why I'm working over that side, I've got no idea. That one doesn't want to play parties. I'll make it play in a minute. I'm a little bit out of patience today for some reason. I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little abrupt. I don't mean to be, but just not feeling myself for some reason. I think it was a cup of coffee I had earlier on. I made it just a little bit strong, and it's given me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, dear. The things we do to ourselves. I love coffee, but I can't have it strong, and I must have put an extra bit in my on my spoon and popped it in my cup without thinking too much about it. I used to be able to drink coffee all day long but not anymore. And this one I think I'll put over here to try and help hold that corner down. Okay, looking wonderful. Okay, I forget to press it, so I'm going to rechange that to. A boo boo and didn't start it. Okay, here we go. This one in the middle. Yeah, sounds good to me. And this one has a little border on it, so it will play nicely. I am absolutely loving this quick sticks from it's We Are Memory Keepers. Absolutely wonderful thing. Precision and pick up tool. Could not agree more. Okay, that's good. Now I'll get rid of all these little bits here on the side. Because well, I don't need those cluttering up the, the work area. Okay, so now we have a few of those to put in our book. Let's bring that over. I'll turn this little thing off now. It's really quite gorgeous, but I don't need it on distracting me at the minute. Okay, what have I got? Oh, I found these little tags the other day when I was sorting, and I thought maybe I could use them somewhere in here too. But I'll have to wait and see what room I've got. I don't want to overcrowd this too much with embellishments, because the lady wants to write in it. opens up the book. No, let's put Let's Adventure in there because that's what this is about, a holiday. Okay. Blue. 
I could make it a little rough pocket, couldn't I? So that she can stick something in there if she wants to. That's a good idea. Thanks for that thought, everyone. The more pockets I guess she has, um, the more little souvenir type things she can put in there. She can gather her own bits and pieces of papers and stuff like that. Okay, that one's tissied up. I don't want to make that one too heavy. I think I'll put it on this one. Put it up the top because the bottom's getting it a little bit heavy. And it's going to, if I don't do something at the top of some pages, then it is just going to sit up here and down there. So let's do some of these up the top. Oh, that's too wide. Oh, no, it's not. Because I've got the border there. I forgot about that. once the glue dries. Now that I've lifted it up and played with it, I'm going to have to re-glue it. Because part of it wants to stick and the rest of it doesn't. Talk about make a mess. I can do that really, really well. I don't need any help to make a mess because I can do it quite successfully on my own. Whoopsie. Glue pot did not want to stand up because I've got stuff over there, that's why. Okay, that's better. That little bit of glue. And talking of things I had over there, I can put one of those in there just to show her another piece of the 13 arts that I've been busy making stuff out of. No, I won't do that yet. Leave those as they are, because that's her planner, and that one there can be a planner as well. Okay. Now this one I think I will put down middle. Why not make a belly band? Belly bands are fun, aren't they? I think so anyway. Then I'm a bit of an odd, but I think everything's fun. Okay. This is kind of cool. minutes to go folks. And what I can do put that in there. Better do some in the back, otherwise I'm gonna have an uneven embellished book and that won't be any fun. Oh, that must have been the back page of the book. Okay. That works. Alright, we'll put one here down the bottom. Because we can. Whoopsie. You probably noticed that I wasn't putting glue right on the edge because when I put it on I pushed the glue over towards the edge and hopefully don't get too much on my hands. No, I'm not being a pretty. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, that's a little notebook. Just a one-page thing. 
So I can pop that into there like it's part of the tag, can't I? How about that? I love hats like that. Okay, we need one up the top. Or a little bit up there so that put something small into that pocket yeah this tacky glue is absolutely awesome and just grabs hold of everything that is attached to it bring it down small little things. I made these ages ago. I'm so glad I did because they're just coming into this journal quite nicely. I've got to come through with some steampunk stuff later and we can do that together as well. Okay. Getting even. That's good. Okay, this one can go down the bottom. How am I going for time? I've got six minutes left. So while I've got time, I will say thank you so very, very much for coming to watch this video. I do hope you enjoy it. I am enjoying making this journal really, really much so. That's good grammar, isn't it? Try working that one out. I am enjoying this very much, let's put it that way. Okay, and I think, because I have got one of these little things here, a little ticket, I'm going to put that down the bottom there. Once again, in the, the pocket style, so it can be utilised. and hot air balloons and all that sort of stuff is going to look really, really good on top of these pink things. Okay, I mean, oh, I've only got one more. So, I'll split the difference put it in the middle. It's getting to the stage now where I need to actually sew in the signature to the book. So I'll do that next time I'm with you. And then we'll see what time we've got left after that to perhaps do some more bits and pieces. There's nothing on the back of that. No, I haven't got any, I haven't got any written or blind paper on that yet, so I can't use that yet. Okay. So, we are looking rather resplendent. Could go in there just to sit to let me know to do something in there. If I leave, no, I won't do that because that will just make me get distracted later on. I found these beautiful little note papers and I thought what better way to use them than to fold them in three and pop them into big pockets. So there's extra writing space there as well. Okay, we still have a couple of blank pages, but that's okay because they're going to be needed, I think. All right, my lovelies, thank you very much for joining me again. I do wish you all the very, very best. I will catch up with you on the next video when we tackle this journal again. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.